Yo, awesome guys, Fix Fate when here in today's video back with something a bit different. I'm going to start doing like series, I think, with these and a customizer series. So, yeah, we've done like how to apply decals before, and there's a few other ones I would like to do, like how to sculpt the beard and like things that could help you guys if you're starting customizing or you're not to certain things. And one of the main things I think would help people is how to paint head casts or 3d prints and yeah obviously if you've got a cast and or 3d print they look like this and then you'd have to paint all the skin tone the eyes etc and over the time i've got better with it. i'm still not the best but i'm pretty confident now with doing it and yeah i'm going to take you guys through the process of things you need and step by step what to do and so we'll go over when we do the eyes the hair everything and yeah the process of everything so if you have got a 3d print you won't have to do any um sand it down or anything but if you do get a white head cast sometimes you might have to sand down the top of it or the neck hole already be there and you'd have to drill in and yeah so you can just do that with dremel and but most of the time if you're getting off people they've already done that for you or make sure they've already done the neck hole for you and sand on the top so then you don't have to do that when you get them and if you're getting a 3d print off anyone then they should look like this so you don't have to do no dremeling or neck holes or anything they'd look like this and i'll show you how to apply them as well in this video and yeah first off we're going to start off with the preparation so i have not used this before i normally just go in and paint the skin tone but apparently um i should prime before and then paint so yeah I'm going to go and prime these and then I'll show you me priming them and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, so the heads have dried after being sprayed with the prime and you should get a result like this um, after you prime this obviously be all grey and you can still see bits like underneath like there from the original um, colour and I did use some blue tack to keep it in place by here but it's not too bad under there, you just want to make sure the main um, face is all primed and obviously I'm going to show you me painting Tanahashi in this, I'll just do the coater and yeah as i said if you don't have a primer you could just paint it straight away i've done that multiple times it'd be the same process as we're doing now but i've primed it for the first time and i'm gonna see how this comes out i should just give him a smoother finish and protect a bit more the paint and yeah so all you're gonna need for this is just a paintbrush a regular one you don't need no small one 
because when you paint you don't want don't worry about getting on the hair you should fix that up later you just want to get the skin tone all nice and i'm going to be going with this citadel layer this um flesh tone and a popular one is the kiss lab which that's more for a um daniel bryan sort of skin tone and this one works a bit better for like a Dolph Ziggler sort of skin tone um and this is the one i'm going to be using for that so yeah because i think i'm going to use the Dolph Ziggler tone so this should match more than the kiss level be too light and that this it not perfect but it'd be close enough so i'm going to be going with this one and yeah just that's all you pretty much need paintbrush the paint and then just something to hold the head scan which i'm going to be using um this right here this little um peg thing on just clip it on and yeah i'll do time lapse of this and hope and i'll try and get most of it on camera for you guys and show you then we'll be back after the um skin tone has been applied Okay guys, after you've painted it, you should get something like this. Uh, I don't know what their marks are on the head, they're them lines. But, they, yeah. Other than that, they were already there when I primed this. It must have just been on the 3D print, which doesn't even look noticeable. Um, yeah, you should get something like that. And I did give it like two coats and of that skin tone. It all depends. If you have like a white cast or if you haven't primed, it might take more layers. Uh... It all depends on the cast or if you primed it. But I only need to give this two layers. And yeah, as you see, we've got it all covered. And you can see we've got some on the hair. But that's fine. We can go over that later with the hair colour. And just make sure you get all the um, skin tone we needed to go. And yeah, you should get something like that. And the next step we're going to be doing now is painting the hair. So this is what we're going to need. Okay guys, so for the hair next step, we're gonna be painting the hair. So you're gonna to wanna to get, um, yeah, I know my this is a bit wrecked, but there's some left in there. We got the Citadel, this brown one. And I, again, this is all preference to what color you want here. You might wanna mix this with some black and get it darker. You might wanna do layers and dry brush to get more realistic. It all depends how you want it. But I'm just gonna go straight in with this color and just paint the hair, um, pretty simple you guys to follow and yeah you just want to get a quite medium sized brush just to do like the main area of the scan and then get a smaller brush to do like the thin lines and yeah we'll go paint this up now and we'll be back after we've painted the hair and see what we got Okay guys, after painting the hair, you should get something like this. And here you see we covered all the hair now. And if you do manage to get any on the skin tone when you're doing like the um, pointy bits, you can always come back in with like the skin tone and sharpen up the edges. And yeah, as I said, I'm not the best painter, but um, it's coming out good so far. Next step we're gonna do is the eyes. And I know this is the one a lot of people struggle on the most, including me, and I'm still not the best um at it now but it's all about practice and for this we're just going to be using um this citadel um this white one and then we're just going to use some black and first off we're going to use the white and we're going to do the um eye sockets if you can see there and yeah i don't think i'll be able to do this on camera because i don't want to mess this up because eyes is like the hardest one but yeah, you just see the socket stage. I'll take your time until you get it right. And just use the smallest brush um, you've got. And yeah, after you applied the white, you're just gonna wanna go in with the black and make the pupil. And then after that, just dab a, a small little white dot in the black one. And then yeah, you'll get your eyes done. And I'll show you right now how it looks after this. 
And here it is, guys, all painted up. We've got the coat of Bushi head scan with the eyes. And yeah, pretty happy that this came out. As you can see there. And there, we need to touch some of them lines up, I believe. And yeah, next step we're going to do is paint the lips. And I'm going to use a pink Citadel. Um, this one right here. I'm going to use this one on the lips and then I'm going to let it dry and I go over with the, um, this um, flesh tone and yeah then we should get the lips done and yeah I'll sh show you me doing that right now. And here we have it guys, the end result. And apart from this, you just need to seal it with either, I don't know what seal you guys use. If you use Mod Podge or a um, spray can, whatever you would like to use. I use a spray, sometimes Mod Podge, but yeah, that's all I need to do is seal it now. And as you see, you've got the end result. I think this came out super clean. You've got the lips and you still see the color, but they're not too pink or red. And yeah, super happy how this came out. And hopefully this, helped you guys with painting your heads and let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more series like this how to sculpt or you know them sort of things and as I said I'm not the best painter but, um, I'm getting better with painting head scans and confident enough to make the video on painting them anyway um, but yeah it came out really clean and yeah hopefully that helped as I said let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and if it helped and yeah all that good stuff. Please like the video if you're already. Subscribe when you're on here. Thanks for watching and bye for now.